So everybody knows the kind of almost borderline gambling aspect of the RNG in Diablo 2 Resurrected. You get out there, you're killing tons of monsters. Every monster you kill is essentially a pull of the lever on the slot machine. Now, sometimes those numbers can come up big for you and you're dropping tons of money out the bottom. That's when you're hitting things like high runes. You're finding that Griffin's eye, all different types of great things like that. But sometimes those numbers come up in a very unfortunate manner. And that's what we're going to talk about today. These are the most disappointing drops in all of Diablo 2 Resurrected. So I've never really mentioned this before in a video, but do want to shout out. I got my merch down below, just below the video or link in the description. We got the let's get after it in the green and yellow, just like I have on a lot of my thumbnails and different types of videos. Great for concerts. Great for the gym. Let's get after it. And then also, I got the classic sweet fill right here. And there's even some other new designs on t-shirts that you can get as well. I haven't even got them in from the store. They're, the designs are so fresh. I got different types of stickers. I got cups and mugs and things like that. Check out the merch store just down below the video or in the description. Now, first one up here, let's say you're looking for that low rune for your grief or for your fortitude. Well, you get out there and you're farming, you're slaying monsters in good areas to find high runes. You kill enough of them and boom, you finally see that low rune plop off of a cow. You are so ecstatic. Your heart jumps a little bit. What does that low rune end up being? Everyone has been there. It's the dreaded IO. No, God, please, no, 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 no. How did they do this to us? How did they name a rune IO with a capital I? right next to what would be a low rune. They're almost identical. This has happened to literally everybody because everybody needs that fortitude for their Act 2 mercenary. Any melee character you want to throw that grief on because it's so incredibly powerful. So that's why this one is so disappointing when you make that little mistake and you mistake the IO for the low. Next up is very similar, but not quite exactly the same. The rune is not as valuable, but once again, they have two runes that have the same number of letters in them. They start off with the same letter, so it kind of can confuse you and trick you, catch you off guard. When you see it out of the corner of your eye, you see that Ith rune, and you think it is actually an Ist rune. Now, it is very easy to make this mistake. Even Blizzard did it when they were putting out their PTR. When they actually gave you an enigma on the PTR, they gave you a jaw ist burr on accident because they're so close somebody in the dev team made that mistake and trust me it's happened to me and i know it's happened to you too when you see that if and you actually think you just found an is but uh, uh uh no you didn't now the next one up here on the list isn't one that's necessarily confusion it's just finding one of these items is astronomically awesome and the other item is absolutely worthless and they're both incredibly rare because they are the same base item. Now, I've actually found several of these in the last month. And maybe you find one or two, it's not that disappointing. But when you find one after another after another, and you actually want the other item, it is incredibly disappointing. As that is, when you're out there farming and you find this green diadem. It is actually the diadem for the Mavina set. And the Mavina set is almost unused. So this diadem has essentially no value, no use, no purpose. But... The unique version of this and you probably already guessed and already know about it that is the griffin's eye now lightning builds in diablo 2 resurrected are incredibly powerful so you definitely want to find one of these griffins i've been hunting on single player for a long time actually on regular diablo 2 resurrected not counting the mods i've only ever found one griffin's eye in my entire life so they are incredibly uncommon and difficult to find now don't let it break your spirit still when you find several of these green diadems that griffin's eye is on the way for you Next one up is for you people out there doing your holy grails. Now this one is when you, maybe you don't want to just keep farming 85 areas over and over again. You're going to switch it up, maybe go knock off a few lower grailers on your list. So you're going to go out and run Pindle. Now what you do is you're out there just slaying and slaying and slaying and he drops you a unique sacred armor. Now there's two options this could be, Templar's Might or Tyrael's Might. If you found it from a different location, the thing is with Pindle, actually, he is not high enough level based upon treasure class, item level, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to go into all the details, but just know he cannot drop the rarer of the two, the Tyrael's Might. He can only drop the Templar's Might. Now, while that is incredibly rare, it's good to knock that one off your Holy Grail list. Man, if you already found yourself a Templar's and you're really hunting for that Tyrael's Might, that is just an incredibly, incredibly disappointing drop. 
Now, whether you're single player or at the beginning of ladder, a lot of people are hunting for a lot of the same items, whether it's the Arachnid's Mesh, the Shakos, things like that. Well, sometimes the game actually tries giving you these items and you don't even notice it. But if the monster you're actually killing and that item rolls to drop, but if it's not a high enough level, doesn't have the right treasure class in order to drop that item, it turns into what is called a failed unique. And when I pick these up and find these, I kind of look for them because I know about it. It can be incredibly disappointing. So the most common one and one that has happened to me several times, maybe you'll be running Andaro at the beginning of a single player or at the beginning of ladder and you see a rare spiderweb sash. Now, the reason that can be so disappointing, pick it up and look at it. Now, usually a spiderweb sash only has 12 durability, but if that rare sash has 36 durability, you just got hosed, son, because Andaro tried to give you an Arachnid's Mesh, but she's not high enough level to drop one. So if a unique fails and it cannot actually drop when it rolls, it actually reverts to a rare that has triple durability. Now this can happen with a lot of different types of items as well. I actually had a crazy drop off of Mephisto. I picked up and looked at a magic, just a blue Shaco that dropped off of Mephisto and it actually had double durability. So even though there is not an item, a set Shaco, what it did is it actually rolled to be whatever the set Shaco would be. There isn't one. If it does do that, what the game will do is make the item magic and it will have double durability. And also on the exact same drop, crazy enough, I found a double durability war hat. In other words, that war hat tried to drop as the Cow King's helmet. Now that can only drop in the cow level. You can't drop that off of Mephisto. So that is once again, a failed set item. So this can happen all the time with all different types of items. If it is a triple durability rare, it tried to roll as a neat unique, but could not for one reason or another. And if it's a double durability magic, it tried to roll as a set item, but it could not. Now, while this can happen with almost any of the items in the game, by far the most disappointing, like I said, are that failed Shaco and that failed Arachnid's Mesh. Now you're out there right at the beginning of ladder, you're farming Mephisto over and over and Dario over and over and over. You need that Shaco and Arachnid's Mesh, just like I was mentioning in the last one. You know what? It doesn't end up being a failed set item. It doesn't end up being a failed unique or something like that. You actually find your Shaco. You actually find your Arachnid's Mesh. Now, how is this actually an incredibly disappointing drop? Well, the problem is you pick it up, you put it in your inventory and oh no, it's actually ethereal. This is one of the most disappointing drops in the entire game. It just breaks my heart when I see people comment or post pictures of their ethereal Arachnid's mesh on like day three of ladder. Now, while you can use it for a little while, everybody knows that if you get hit and stuff, eventually those ethereal items are gonna break. Obviously an ethereal Shaco, you're not gonna waste a Zod rune on that. And obviously an ethereal Arachnid's mesh, you can't socket it anyway. So these items, are essentially temp uses until you actually get a hold of or find ones that are not ethereal. I'm fortunate enough, this has so far not ever happened to me. Where's... Camera's vibrating a little bit. I gotta knock on some wood there because I might've just jinxed myself. It's never actually happened to me, but it's probably incoming now. So sorry to all y'all this has happened to, but you never want to see those awesome uniques roll as ethereal unless there's something crazy and they actually have their repair mod on it or it's something beneficial for you. But nobody likes seeing those ethereal Shakos or those ethereal Arachnids mesh. Now, if you know about any more, head down in the comments and post them up in there. I'd love to laugh and see some of these incredibly disappointing drops in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe up too, and double check and make sure you are because like 70% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. We're going to try to push to 50,000 by the end of the year. And if you guys subscribe up, I think we can make it. Please help me out. Peace out, fellas. And don't forget, keep slaying. Ooh.